Hi, my name is Ramo. Uh, in this video I'd like to show you a uh, pipe welding alignment jig that I made uh, a couple years ago. Uh, I used to make a lot of uh, items out of fence pipe, you know, the vertical, the piece that runs all the way along the top, and uh, you know, a pile of pieces, and uh, sometimes uh, it was beneficial to weld a couple together rather than run back to the fence uh, supply place and uh, and buy some more pieces. So what you would do is, uh, if you had a couple of pieces, let's say five, a couple of five footers you want to tend for, you just stick them in this jig and, uh, you know, rotate them until they look like they're pretty close and then tighten up these clamps and you could weld it down here, here, here and turn it upside down and weld it in a couple spots, take it out and you could just you know, do this for an hour and get all your pipe uh, welded together and then you could stick them, you know, side like this and uh, you wouldn't have them go out when you tried to weld them completely around. And uh, I found you could probably do just about any size pipe on here. These clamps are adjustable. Uh, you could possibly use uh, like big pipe like this. This has got uh, like a quarter inch wall and uh, you could have pipe uh, five feet in diameter like something they use on a keystone pipeline and so all you'd have to do is use bigger angle with bigger dimensions maybe a little bit longer and this unit could be clamped to the uh, a pipeline with a different type of clamping system and, and to get perfect alignment but uh, these things here will cut just with a sawzall and you can see where you know if you look at them they're off but if you turn them around you can get them pretty doggone close and if they're too far off I got this other just get a heavy piece of uh, metal like this, stick them in here and clamp it with the same clamps and you could use a uh, four inch uh, uh, grinder and trim the edges like this, mark it with a maybe a sharpie or something and get a, a little bit better alignment on it. Stick it in there. And also I found that uh, on square tubing, I use a lot of square tubing and uh, things I, I make and the same problem. You can put them in here, clamp it down, tack weld it on a corner there, there, turn it up. You got four corners tack weld it, take it out, get another couple pieces and have a little assembly line and so all you have to do is finish them off. This would really be good for somebody that does uh, hot rods, go-karts, uh, motorcycle frames where you have the chromoly tubing which is kind of expensive. If you you know do a real nice TIG weld on it and grind it and maybe use it in a non-critical area you could probably save a lot on your material cost but most of the projects I do, I do with scrap metal. I got a pile of stuff. Uh, what other people throw out uh, is, is gold to me. But uh, it's just a uh, fence pipe. Exhaust pipe would be another good one. I use a lot of exhaust pipe tubing fixing. I work on cars, trucks, uh, um, diesels, you name it. And uh, I always got to come up with some ha harebrained idea in order to, you know, get the repair uh, done and out of there. Anyway, that's about it. Nothing specific on the uh, on the dimensions. This here is uh, three eighths uh, square stock. Couple pieces of angle lined up, clamped. I painted it to make it look good for the video. But most of the stuff I got, I just hang it up, and uh, it gets rusted. I hit it with a grinder a little bit to clean it up. But if you think this uh, video might be uh, beneficial to some friends of yours, another shop. Uh, uh, welders, I don't know, I imagine people that weld pipe for a living probably have something a little bit better than this, but this is what I come up with uh, some time ago, and uh, I don't know, I like it, works works well. I don't use it often, but it uh, does the job. Anyway, if you like uh, the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, let me know about it. Uh, I got a lot to learn, I'm kind of new in this, and uh, uh, I'd appreciate uh, anything uh, good or bad. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I got quite a few other videos coming out on auto body repair. Uh, I got a lot of fixtures I made for foundry work. Uh, you name it, uh, I've probably done just about all you can do in the uh, uh, fabricating or building business. Anyway, uh, with that, I'm going to stop and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Bye.